You're a hard guy to motivate. Well, can you blame him, Trevor? Oh my God. I mean, he is kind of the brains. He kind of knows when shit is not how it should be. <clears throat> All right, Just getting close to the airfield. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. All right, Lester, you better hurry up, dude. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Yeah, Trevor's got a point, Lester. You gotta move your ass. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold up for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Jeez. Lester just like, what the fuck? I really need to practice more at this whole flying thing. There was a checkpoint. Nope. Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. 
I like the paint job Trevor did on this helicopter. <clears throat> very stylish. Very new age. Very hipster-like, if you will. No, I'm just kidding, Trevor. Jeez, Trevor, calm down, man. This is an art. It's an art. Gotta be careful of what you're doing. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. In the same Burn. short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. I really should just take the time and practice flying better. Practice. I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in. Alright, hopefully they come out here. Yep. There they are! Back out in the open! It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Alright. Looking for a big asshole. I assume this is it. That's the excavation! <clears throat> Lester, shut up. I'm trying, alright? I'm a shitty pilot. Now just hover here! That's no good! It's load bearing! It looks good! We're lucky these projects take so long! A little longer! Just a minute! Hurry up. Alright, I think I've got enough information to work with. We'll switch back to Michael. See what they're up to. We're just gonna drop Frank Franklin off at his house, you know, whatever. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? 
This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Jeez, Michael. Just let it all out. Just spill your guts, man. Alright, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. All right. God. Get out of the way. All right. So, did the first part of the big score. Now, let's take a look at the map here. You know what? It's close. Let's just drive there. Going on a drive is nice every once in a while. Alright. And this game looks just absolutely gorgeous on PlayStation 3. It's gonna look so goddamn good on PlayStation 4. I'm sure it'll look comparable to the Xbox as well. Your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, hmm? sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. Great. And, uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job. And then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me! Alright, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. Let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. 
You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Oh shit. He stole my car. Son of a bitch. Well, time to call a cab. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? The hell? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on! Come back, we'll talk! <sighs> I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax, the grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Alright. Now that my phone call magically changed on me while I was, uh, calling for a cab. Hi. Can I get a cab? Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Okay, thanks for your help. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey! Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? Think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. Well, I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Yeah, he's gonna be coming for your ass, dude. Where you headed, homie? Oh man. Trevor, man. You gotta calm down. At least we get to take a trip. Alright, brother, here we are. Second level terminal entrance. Gotta My find some stairs though. Fucking stairs. Guess I'll have to use these stairs all the way over here. People are leaving their baggage all over the goddamn place. You know, it's been forever since I've been on a plane. Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pays attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton, nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. 
Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always snowing?